Okay, so uh, during Black Friday, I got this uh, uh, camcorder. Um, it's pretty good. It's the least expensive I could find. It was ninety nine ninety five plus taxes. It was about a hundred and ten. Uh, it's not touch screen. It uh, and it just comes in with a the camera it's uh, full HD it has the charger and a really really tiny battery I mean it only lasts about 40 minutes when being used and as you can see here's the charger it is 5 volts it's uh, Let's see, 5.2 volts at one amp. Okay, so I, I decided to, to try something. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, for cell phones, we have something like this, which is, uh, I also got it on Black Friday for a special price. It's, um, it charges through USB. <clears throat> and here it is that's in it charges from there and here's what you get it's a um, USB and you have the here 5 volts at 2.4 amps and the other two are 5 volts at 1 amp so this two seem really similar to what we would get out of this one <clears throat> so I was wondering if I could cut this cable and then use a USB cable that I I use to charge my phone just cut this side and uh, maybe make it work for the camera <clears throat> Okay, so I already cut this cable, and when you cut it, you're gonna get a uh, four cables, and uh, the the two main ones you're gonna wanna care about it's the red one and black one. Which uh, red it's positive and black it's a uh, ground negative. And I cut the other two uh, all the way down so they wouldn't interfere so now I'm gonna try to to I'm gonna cut this one and see if uh, if I can make a um, make it work with my camcorder cut it on the USB side red it's gonna be positive black is gonna be negative here on the On the power supply for the camera, we know in here it tells us that the the positive is an inside and the negative is outside. So the easiest way for us to to measure to to know which cables which it's going to be to grab our multimeter put it in continuity which is gonna be here okay so I set it there so when whenever you, you have a let me put it aside whenever you have continuity you get a sound so let's do that right now so first, I, I want to find out uh, which one's the continuous to the outside, which is going to be our negative. Okay, so here, I set it on the outside. Oh, there, nope, here, okay. So this is going to be our negative. 
is negative and this is positive. So I'm just going to put a, a red uh, shrink wrap just for right now just to to keep track of which one's which. Okay. Now I'm going to connect that one to our red from the USB and the other one to the black and I'm just twisting it so it makes good contact in there okay and just make sure it doesn't touch and now I'm gonna have So I'm gonna connect it here at one of the five volts, one amp. Now I move it over there, get my camera, and as you can see, no battery. So where's the camera? Here, no battery. I'm just gonna connect it here. There, it is connected. I open it and now I turn it on. Guess what? It works. See, it's working. And so it just gives you a lot more possibilities. Now, now you can connect them. You have on the go, on the car, and at home. So with that one cable, it's you're gonna be able to power your camera everywhere. So that's it, and thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully, I'll have more videos up soon. Thank you.